Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going for a walk in a bog that I um, visited a few weeks back. Put all the video clips together. Now I'm doing a voiceover for this because um, it was just there wasn't um, any audio or anything like that. This was just filmed on my phone with no extra equipment. But I thought I'd show you guys all this cool stuff, like sundews, like we see here. And I um, thought the best way to do this is just like put all my little clips together and then we could have a look at it together now this was visited in july so it was quite dry you can see the moss isn't quite as green as i had hoped it would be but you know i've been here in previous years and it was greener than it has been so the trees in this area because the the moss or sorry because the peat is so acidic um, and has so little nutrients are probably hundreds of years old but very very tiny it's almost like a bonsai forest in here everything is like dwarfed there's cool little twisted gnarly trees everywhere moss and sundews everywhere um, and all kinds of other cool bog plants that I would love to know more about but just simply don't there's some Labrador teas in there and other um, evergreen and deciduous plants so what I decided to do though is I brought my drone with me on this video or on this trip because I wanted to get an aerial view of what all this looks like. Look at how green that is. I love that picture. Like that is beautiful right there. I love exploring in bogs. It is one of my favorite things to do. But um, yeah, I brought my drone. So I thought we would um, take it up in the sky and see what everything looks like from above. I thought this was going to be a super, super cool experience. And you know what? It's not that it wasn't super cool. But everything got super small, super fast. Turns out there's a, it's, it's a very big bog. So as you're going to see from this footage, it's very big and very expansive. And the way the trees are already miniaturized, it was like I was like even higher than I was. And although it's great for like looking at the, the big scope of where we were, it um, wasn't good for finding any kind of plants at all. If I was... Um, anywhere else and I was looking for a, a specific kind of plant like a sarcenia or something like that uh, my chances are I wouldn't really find them with um, this drone or not with this footage it really um, reminds me of like African savanna almost like just the way it, it looks really dry which was really surprising to me so anyways what else can I tell you here um, the area would get a little bit of freezing and a little bit of snow in the winter time I think it just has the one kind of sundew in it and um, lots of different kinds of sphagnum moss. Uh, it's really interesting to me the way um, bogs grow and work and everything. They're just fascinating. Um, I do try to at least go um, out to the my local bogs once a year or so. I have for the past few years. And I just, I really love exploring and looking for the bogs and finding new ones. And I found some great ones this year. We found some great ones last year. This is one that I've been to before, um, which is why I was prepared with the drone to be able to do this because I knew exactly what I was getting into. But a lot of times there's a good hike in a bush and um, stepping over lots of bear poop in wolf and mountain lion country. And yeah, you make sure you keep your kids close and your dogs close and have a bit of fun doing it so this whole bog it has like as you can see a boardwalk around it which is really nice because it it allows you to get like right in the center of the bog without any kind of destruction whatsoever and yeah i think you'll be able to see me in a second or so there was like one other group of people that were in here but huge space for um for nobody being there at all so yeah, the boardwalk itself takes maybe 20 minutes, half an hour to walk around, and it's just, just amazing. And I wish you could see up close how these trees look twisted and gnarled. And um, just like if you're a bonsai enthusiast, man, you could get inspired here. All these trees are a little bit big to be like actual bonsais. They're not two feet tall, but, um, you know, most of them are a good 10 feet tall, maybe a little bit more. So I don't keep it in the air too long, but I will show you what I have. And I don't know, maybe I'll like try to add some music back to this or something like that. Um, Cause it gets, 
it's really weird to, it's so like quiet in here you can probably just hear the dog scuffing around because <laughs> i'm in my living room watching this um thought i would take it up really high and um see what it really looked like you can see the surrounding forest like we're basically in the middle of nowhere it was funny because the boardwalk is really getting in rough shape i noticed it just like from this year to last year it's so like this the environment is so hard on it you can see us down there we're little specks on the boardwalk and um but yeah there were so many spots where my um three-year-old was having to like hop over boards that were missing and sinking corners of the boardwalk and stuff like that I've never been here in wintertime. It's always a summertime trip for me, but I imagine it would be very, very soggy come wintertime. I don't think anything would be necessarily underwater, but um, I do think that it would be very close to it. The water table would be just below the surface. So, yeah, after about five minutes of drone flying, I realize there's not, not a ton that I'm actually like seeing up here. So I start bringing it back in for a landing and um, then continue on with my walk. The... Um, the footage of um, the trees and everything like that is just so amazing. There I am, and my wife, and my child. And I bring it right back in, and I cut the video off soon, but I bring it right back in and land it on the, um, the boardwalk. Just that easy. then we continue through we get to the edges again and it's like it looks so different below than it does above doesn't it it doesn't even look like you're in the same spot so there's still the spectrum moss in there but it's like it's so overgrown with other stuff that it's hard to, to i guess because it's shaded from the big trees everything is just allowed to grow that little bit more and a little bit more lush and the sphagnum moss has that much more competition it's amazing how the mosses can grow like out in direct sun and if it gets too hot for them they just go dormant for the summer and come back green in the winter time really awesome tree coming up right there in the middle of the screen that one is super nice i think i might have just pointed at it and everything And the temperature here is uh, much cooler than I'm used to as well. Now we're just into a few photographs to end this video. But the temperature here is much cooler. A uh, normal day that's like 30 degrees in my house is like 20 degrees Celsius here. Some of the sun dews up close because even with videos it's hard to see them. Nothing um, gives you a close up like a photograph. Anyways guys, I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.